I want to take this time to talk about my friend Bob Cup. Not not all of it. We'll we'll get on with the with the part. Um when people talk about me in historic terms, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but history is what happened. So that old has nothing to do with it as much as when I was hired to do I Spy, Robert Culp already had the part of Kelly Robinson. People writing and people news said that I was the Jackie Robinson of television drama. And I say to all of you, if this is true, then Robert Culp has to be Eddie Stanky. <laughs> Pee Wee Reese. I mean, those, those men who stood beside Jackie put their arm around him. And which one was from the South? Pee Wee Reese put his arm around Jackie to show the South and probably got his share of whatever comes from people who are just sick. Death threats, why are you with that blank de blank, so forth and so on. Racism is a waste of time. Amen. James Baldwin said to an interviewer one time, and the man said, well, your people are, are trying to, don't you think, don't you think, it was in black and white, you know, it was in the 50s and, J and James Baldwin sitting like this in the suit and the tie, you know, and he's sitting like this. He's, he was a small man, and he's like this. And the man said, don't you think that, um, don't you think we need time? And, and James Baldwin said, time? I'm not here. James Baldwin said, time, time. You've already taken up my grandparents' time. You've taken up the time of my mother and father's. You've taken up the time of my time. You've taken up the time of my nieces and nephews. How much time do you need? And so Robert Culp, even though many of you say, do you ever see, uh, 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 do you ever see your friend, uh, Mr. Mr. Culp? Yeah, I see him. I see him all the time, even though I don't see him. Bob, my friend, one of the moments I want you to know about was competitively, they put us in, uh, in the same category, nomination for Emmy Award. And I won. First 
Negro to win Emmy for so forth and so on. And I had to go to work the next day and face him. He was the actor. I was the, the stand-up comedian. He was teaching me, teaching me. Never once did he ever roll his eyes to the ceiling. <laughs> Nothing, never stayed on it. One of the moments I remember he counted on me so much because he, this was a script he had written and he was directing it and when it was late at night and, 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 and this was my scene dramatically to tell the story and he was sitting there with the camera and I couldn't remember the lines. And, and he said, he, listen, we went so late, I could hear the crew's stomachs growling. <laughs> Which everybody said, all right, everyone quiet. And they say, Bob say, okay, now here we go. And it's, <laughs> he never said, oh, you know, never. Okay, let's try it again. And what he wouldn't do was somebody said, why don't we write it down and let him read it? He said, no. And I said, yes. <laughs> Please. I could not remember. It wouldn't come. The people that uh, Dominic pointed to, they would not behave. They... <laughs> They would, uh, don't tell them anything. Don't remember anything, you know. And the script lady would come over, and I'd look at it, and then this side would say, we got it, and she'd walk away, and he'd say, forget. <laughs> Never. Never. He was wonderful. And the two of us, the two of us, for three years, we went around on TV, Greece, Spain, Mexico, Italy, England, all over, took our wives. Never was a racial incident. He and I never, in all of our years to the day he died, never had an argument. I wouldn't see him for three years. And when I'd see him, we, we talked like he just went across the street to get a loaf of bread. Hey, why? How you been? Then sometimes he, we'd love to imitate cowboys. How you doing, pard? So we're going over here and get, uh, and one of the things he said to me, he said, uh, in this series, you and I will never say, let's go. I have no idea why. <laughs> but we never said it. And one of his proudest movies of producing directing and rewriting. It was a film that we lost. We never made a penny. Theater. Hickey. See, you all can't even say the rest of it. <laughs> Hickey and Boggs is the name of the movie. And if you care to, I, I don't know where you can see it or anything, on some channel somewhere in heaven. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, allowing me to tell you the stories. I want you to know that at no time do I ever not think that his contribution in I Spy was very valuable in terms of civil rights, in terms of this
country, the United States of America. He played a wonderful part and never asked a question. Thank you.